everyone, Optrel Jeff here, and today I want to talk a little bit about the innovation here at Optrel, which, you know, at the end of the day, that's really what drives us as a company. So I'm sure you know there's plenty of options out there for both welding helmets and respiratory protection products, but really what makes us stand out from the bunch is that we don't produce any Me Too products. We're constantly pushing the limits with both our designs and our technology, and you know, that's allowed us to bring several industry first to market over the years and really be a leader in this space. Just to give you an idea of how focused Optrel is on innovation, you know, we spend more on research and development on a percentage basis than companies like Apple do. We're proud to say that we're one of the two companies in this space that actually own our own manufacturing. And what that does is it allows us to quickly adapt to the market and our customers' wants and needs and manage everything in-house all the way from design to production. Optrel has a pretty extensive list of both innovations and patented features. But for this video, I'll be focusing on about 10 of those and give you the highlights of each. So to kick things off, one of our more popular innovations is definitely the nose cutout in our panoramic series helmets. So, you know, most people when they're looking to buy a welding helmet, they're looking for something that's going to give them a larger viewing area. What a lot of companies tend to do is just increase the size of their lens, which at the end of the day, that's just adding weight to the helmet. What we've done is we've added this nose cutout here. And what that does is it brings the lens closer to your face and increases the viewing area by over 600% compared to a standard 2x4 lens. So this nose cutout is going to give you a larger viewing area without adding any weight to the helmet. So next up we have the Shadetronic feature, which is definitely one of the innovations that we're well known for here at Optrail. You're going to find the Shadetronic feature on our more popular helmets like the Panoramic series or the Crystal 2.0, just to name a few. So you know with welding helmets out there today, you're going to have to manually adjust your shade levels depending on whether you need to increase or decrease your level of protection. Well, with the Shadetronic feature, all of that's eliminated. So the sensors on the helmet, they're gonna detect the arc intensity and automatically adjust the shade levels for you. So you're always gonna have the perfect shade level no matter what you're doing. There's no more guessing at what shade level you might need or adjusting the shade levels manually. Again, it's all automatic. In addition to Shadetronic, we've created another feature called Fadetronic. So what the Fadetronic feature does is it allows welders to adjust the time it takes for the auto darkening lens to go from dark to light. Think of it as a delay function. It really makes the transition a whole lot easier on your eyes, especially if you're welding something that has a serious afterglow to it. So if you're already familiar with Optrail's panoramic style helmets or sphere series helmets, then I'm sure the first thing that stood out to you is the spherical design of them. Yes, it looks cool, but it actually serves a purpose as well. So if you look at most welding helmets out there, they're going to have that more traditional flat facing front to them. And the downside to that design is that you can't safely do any overhead welding with them. What happens is slag and debris will land right on that lens, damage it, or even worse, go right through. But with the spherical design that Optrail's created, you can actually safely overhead weld with them. So what happens is slag and debris is going to land right on that lens protector and just slide right off to the side. You know, the lenses in these helmets are by far the most expensive component. And with the spherical design, it's going to protect that lens from slag and debris at all costs. While we're talking about slag and debris, another component that Optrel has a patent on is this rubber seal that goes around the inside of the lens protectors. Like I said, these lenses are expensive, so by having this patented uh, rubber seal around the inside of the lens protector, it's giving you another layer of protection to make sure no debris gets in there and touches that lens. If you're someone that works in close proximity to other welders, then I'm sure you've ran into the issue before where Maybe they're welding about 15 feet away from you, strike an arc, and then that triggers your auto darkening lens to go off. What we've done is we've created a patented sensor slide that's going to help alleviate that issue for you. So what the sensor slide does is it reduces the detection angle from 120 degrees all the way down to 60 degrees just by sliding this bar here right above the lens. So you're going to find this patented feature on our Crystal 2.0, our VegaView, and also our E684. Like I said at the beginning of this video, one of the things that we really emphasize when we're designing our products is worker comfort. You know, the last thing anyone wants if they're under the hood all day long is to be wearing a headgear that's just flat out uncomfortable to wear for an extended period of time. So what our engineers did is they came out with the ISOFIT headgear. This is the only headgear on the market that's adjustable on both length, width, and height. As you can see, it's gonna completely wrap around the crown of your head and it has multiple touch points. So, you're really going to get a customized fit regardless of the size and shape of your head. You know, it's lightweight, ergonomic, and it's meant to keep you comfortable if you're wearing your helmet all day long. So I actually came out with a video not too long ago on the ISOFIT headgear and how to adjust it. So go ahead and check that out when you get a chance. If you take a look at the outside of most of our helmets, and I'll use the Crystal 2.0 as an example, you're going to find two more innovations from Optrail. 
So the first innovation I want to point out is the eccentric knob. You'll find that on the right hand side of our helmets up top here. So what the eccentric knob does is, is it's going to position the helmet perfectly on your head. So by twisting the knob to either the right or the left, it's going to move the position of the helmet either further away from your face or closer to your face. So again, features like the ISOFIT headgear and the eccentric knob goes back to the customization that Optrel offers to really give each person a unique fit that's going to keep them comfortable all day long. Now the other innovation I want to point out quickly is the grind button, which you're going to find on most of Optrel's helmets. Now I'm sure you used to seeing the grind feature on most helmets nowadays, but Optrel was actually the first to do it years ago with our satellite helmet. For those of you who don't know, what the grind feature does is it puts your helmet into a fixed shade with high visibility so you can grind without taking your helmet off. So the last innovation that I'll be touching on today is our crystal lens technology, which is definitely one of the innovations that we're most well known for. When most people think about Optrel, they think about the crystal lens. So the crystal lens comes on both of our panoramic CLT and our crystal 2.0, and it's going to provide you with a light state of shade 2, which is currently a world record right now. Optrel actually held the previous world record with the light state of 2.5, but we broke that record when we developed the crystal lens. The best way to describe the light state of shade 2 is that it's comparable to just looking outside of a window. So you're going to be able to keep your helmet on anytime you're doing any prep work, setup work, and also your inspections. Now when you're actively welding with the crystal lens, you're going to have a completely unplotted view of the weld pool with a color perception that's just unmatched. You know, what you're probably used to seeing on a lot of lenses out there today is that they're going to tend to favor one color in particular. So the lens itself might favor a greenish or an amberish hue, but the opposite is true of the crystal lens. It's not going to favor any one color over another. You're going to be able to clearly distinguish colors within the weld pool, and with the clarity on this lens, you're going to be able to fix welds as you go along. At the end of the day, this lens is going to give you a lot more control over your work, which is going to help save you time and prevent any mistakes from happening. I actually came out with a video not that long ago that's on our YouTube channel that shows you exactly what it's like to look through a crystal lens as you're welding. So go ahead and check that out when you get a chance. All right, well that about wraps up today's video, but I really hope this video gave everyone a glimpse of what we've been able to produce over the years in terms of innovation. You know, we're going to continue to push the limits with both our designs and our technology, and our goal is always going to be to improve your safety, your comfort, and the welding experience as a whole. If you have any questions on any of the content that we went over today, feel free to type it in the comment section below and we'll get right back to you. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of the content that we come out with in the future. And one last thing. We're going to be coming out with a blog post pretty soon that's going to cover all the patents and innovations that we went over today. So stay tuned for that, and we'll see you soon.